बसमीम् अलकुम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक आफ्टर द स्प्रिंग ब्रेक सिंस वी आर ऑफ फॉर अ लॉन्ग ब्रेक नाउ सो वी हैव टू सो वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू विद आर इनकम्प्लीट सेशन सो वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द एलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ ईयर ऑफ प्रॉफिटहुड we will read the topic the advent of islam to yasrib on page number 66 and the first oath on page number 67 then we will do question number 1 and 2 on islamiyat notebook and objectives on the book so before reading the topic we will have a recap of the uh, of the topics we know that the non believers treated the prophet peace be upon him and the muslims very cruelly and mercilessly what was the reason behind their attitude let's have a look the non the first reason was that the non believers and their forefathers were idol worshippers and so they were reluctant to give up their religion and adopt a new one the second reason was that they worshipped many idols for different purposes so they could not swallow the fact that one allah could do everything the third reason was that since the non believers were the guardians of the kaaba so they became arrogant and considered themselves superior and above all others the next reason was that the non believers did not believe in the human rights and considered the poor the weak the women and the slaves and the new religion that supported the oppressed people as their enemies these were the reasons of their cruel attitude so now we will move on to the topic the advent of islam to yasrib let's read it together in spite of striving day and night for 10 years the stubborn opposition of the non believers to islam continued now the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam turned his missionary efforts towards the people who used who who used to come during the hajj season to makka from other cities in the 11th year of his mission the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam invited six people who had come from yasrib madina very near to makka to come into the fold of islam they approved uh, they accepted this invitation to islam and when they returned home they spoke of the teachings of islam to their people students did you get the topic it means that the holy prophet peace be upon him strived hard for 10 years to invite people towards islam and as the number of believers rose the stubborn and arrogant non believers that i have discussed earlier also continued to uh, to treat the new converters cruelly and mercilessly then the holy prophet peace be upon him that turned his direction towards the people 
his direction towards the people who came to Mecca from other cities for the purpose of Hajj. And in this regard, he invited six people from Medina to embrace Islam. They accepted his invitation and spread the teachings of Islam in Medina when they went back. When they went back. Is it clear now? Now we will move on to the next topic, the first oath. We will read the topic first. In this year, when pilgrims, hajis came for hajj from Yasrib, Medina, 12 of them met the Holy Prophet and accepted Islam and swore allegiance to him. Bayat is an Arabic word meaning to promise or swear. The following were the terms which they promised to follow. Number one, we will not accept anyone else as equal to Allah. Number two, we will not bury our daughters alive. That was a custom uh, before the advent of Islam in Arab. Number three, we will not steal. Number four, we will not accuse anyone falsely. Number five, we will avoid all wrongdoing. Number six, we will wholeheartedly act on the teachings of the Prophet, peace be upon him. This swearing in ceremony took place at a place called Ukba. Hence, it is called Bete Ukba. Is the topic clear? Okay, now we will move on to question number one. Okay, question number one is, you will, uh, write, uh, you will write the answer in your Islamiyad notebook. Question number one is, what did the Holy Prophet peace be upon him, do in the 11th year of his prophethood. Okay, now write question number one. What did the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, do in the 11th year of his prophethood? The answer to this question is mentioned on the same, on page number 66. And now I will tell you the answer. In spite of striving for 10 years, night and day, the stubborn opposition of the non-believers to Islam continued. Now the Holy Prophet وسلم, turned his missionary efforts towards the people who used to come during the Hajj season to Mecca from other cities. In the 11th year of his mission, the Holy Prophet وسلم, invited six people who had come from Yasrib, Medina, very near to Mecca, to come into the fold of Islam. They accepted this invitation to Islam and when they returned home, they spoke of the teachings of Islam to their people. Okay, this was the answer to question number one. Now we will move on to question number two. What, what were the terms on which the bayt e uqba was sworn? The answer to this uh, question is mentioned on page number 67 of the book. And now I will tell you the answer. Bayt is an Arabic word meaning to promise or swear. 
the following were the terms which they promised to follow number 1 we will not accept anyone else as equal to allah number 2 we will not bury our daughters alive number 3 we will not steal number 4 we will not accuse anyone falsely number 5 we will avoid all wrong doing number 6 we will wholeheartedly act on the teachings of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam this swearing in ceremony took place at a place called uqba hence it is called bait e uqba this was the answer to question number 2 now we will do the objectives on the book first turn to page 66 that is place a tick or cross mark in the boxes next to the sentences given below the first uh, sentence is that the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam invited the people who had come for umrah it is false number 2 during the hajj season people from various cities came to makkah it is true number 3 abyssinia was near to makkah it is false now turn to page number 67 choose the right answer and fill in the blanks number 1 in the 12th year of his mission dash persons from yasrib took the bait the options are 10 11 or 12 and the answer is 12 number 2 the people from yasrib came on the occasion of dash the options are eid umrah or hajj the answer is hajj number 3 all the bait took place at dash the options are quba uqba yasrib the correct option is uqba okay that is all for today's lecture for the first lecture thank you